Vancouver's Fringe Festival began humbly here in Mount Pleasant in 1986. Like many others, I tried to attend the first few fringes, but the festivals passed by without me ever seeing a show. Friends asked afterwards if I'd gone, and I'd reveal with great guilt that I hadn't. Last year, I finally went, and this year, it's full out fringe for me. I've decided to become a volunteer for Fringe Festival 90. I'll make a few stops around Mount Pleasant today, starting with festival organizer Joanna Morata. She'll tell me how to find out what's happening at this year's Fringe. Uh, the first thing that um, someone interested in coming to the festival should do is get a hold of the program guide, which is our purple 28-page guide to the festival. It's really the Bible for the Fringe. Um, it has the complete listing listings of all the shows in detail um, by the venue that they're in, uh, the show description, what type of a classification it is, whether it's a play or dance or performance art or uh, family oriented or for mature audiences. It's a full breakdown. The center spread is a full day by day at a glance. It's called Fringe at a Glance and it has the index and all the listings by day. It has all the information on the other activities that go on during the Fringe Festival, such as our outdoor cafes and the programming um, at the Grunt Gallery this year, which is a performance art series that's going to be going on every night in conjunction with the festival. It's really the lifeline to the festival. Holding on to your lifeline, you head out onto the festival site. You know, Main Street is um, it's a fabulous neighborhood, really, Mount Pleasant, and it's really nice to see during the Fringe Festival it come alive in a way that you don't see at other times of year to actually see a festival take place on the street and watch people with their program guides in hand sort of running from one show to another. All of the theaters themselves are within each equal uh, easy walking distance from each other so you know if people are wondering well how do I get around well it's, it's really quite easy because the, no one venue is more than five minutes away from another one. You've heard what an exciting place Main Street in Mount Pleasant is during the festival. Well, some people don't know much about the area or even where it is. For my purposes, Mount Pleasant would be aptly renamed Mount Funky. There's a great mixture here of old architecture and 20th century kitsch. The festival area between East 6th and East 17th Avenues is one of Vancouver's oldest neighborhoods. When you stroll between the venues, the Fringe Club, or one of the festival cafes, odd things may catch your eye. For instance, aren't there a lot of cleaning businesses on these blocks? This one, St. Clair, went out of business. The service is a little on the slow side, I bet. Ah, uh, how's mid-April sound? Heritage Hall stands out here as one of the classy structures. It's the site of two fringe theaters and the Southside Cafe. Of course, Mount Pleasant is the home of the famous toadstool-shaped Dairy Queen. Some of the best brass sculpture anywhere can be found in John's Mart. I'm coming back for this frog in the rocking chair. The Mount Pleasant Legion between East 10th and 11th is site of the Fringe Club. Be sure to come on by. It's up on the third floor, one flight up from Starship Bingo. The owner of this joke shop's no dummy. See these Expo 86 pins? Who's going to buy these, right? Well, in eight years, they're going to be a hide item again. And on the north end of the site, the Grunt Gallery will provide cappuccinos and regular showings of performance art. Inside the Anza Club today, Spatula Mob 57 are running through their fringe production, You Put Your Eye Out, the comedy of Oedipus. Let's go in and have a look. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Oedipus Rex Radio Hour, only on... P-O-K-E, Poke Radio. In the next 60 minutes, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll thrill with horror, you'll melt to pity, you'll witness the mutilation of vital organs, you may even experience motion sickness without even leaving your seat. So, sit back, relax, and follow the fortunes of Oedipus here on... P-O-K-E, Poke Radio. Even the gods tune in. This whole show was basically uh, my idea. <laughs> the way we've been writing it is it's been a, a uh, collective process. So what we would do is all get together and throw around some ideas and, uh, and then one of us would take those ideas home and write up a script. And you idiot! What's the 
Grease your nerd. Bet I'm bummed. The reason why we're doing this fringe, we each have our own uh, goals for this show. Um, Jan just moved into town. I uh, basically just wanted to have fun with this fringe. Dean wants to make a point. Ah, my eyes! And Charlene wants to end world hunger. But uh, she's committed herself to this, so that's going to have to wait for a while. So this year, there's no need to feel the post-fringe guilt. There's lots to see, so get up and go.